Have you tried everything and still found no real solution for your weight problem? If that's the case, the new minutes will be a game changer. Keep on watching. Protein and Muscle Building Protein is the building block of many cellular structures and from an exercise standpoint is needed to supplement muscle maintenance and or growth. Protein, like the other substrates, has a specific need and is valued by the body in energy KCAL. Intake and supplementation is easier than ever before with various convenient methods available, including, simply eating healthy whole foods. Contrary to popular belief and trends, ingesting as much protein as possible does not guarantee muscle growth. This article will give you insight on how to maximize supplementation to achieve the desired goal. To do this, three factors need to be addressed, timing, amount, and exercise type TAE. Timing free exercise and during exercise unless carbohydrates are unavailable, protein serves little purpose before or during a workout. Muscles use glycogen from carbohydrates as energy to contract and relax. Consuming high protein levels at these times does not save the muscles from wastage or shrinkage. Having sufficient levels of glycogen slash glucose does. Using protein as an energy source forces the body to convert protein into glycogen, glyconeogenesis, which is not only a waste, but can be costly. The bottom line, pre-workout, protein should only be used when a carbohydrate source, up to 200 kilocalories, is not available. Post-exercise This is the time when most people consider using supplementation and is probably the most important. After damaging the muscle fibers, the body will need extra supplies of building blocks to not only repair, but build bigger and prepare the muscles for further damage. Studies suggest any time between the stop of a workout up to 2 hours is ideal. Dunford and Doyle, 2012, Cool et al., 2010. No differences have been shown regarding timing within this window, as Mark et al., 2001. Throughout the day increases in protein to mealtimes, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and mid-meal snacks should keep protein and energy stores at ideal levels to maintain a positive balance. This allows the body to keep protein on tap for muscle building when necessary. Amount protein needs differ depending on the exercise goal, but sufficient amounts are needed regardless of the goal. See table below type of athlete recommended daily protein intake non-athletic adult 0 8 grams slash kg endurance athlete 1 0 to 1 5 grams slash kg strength athlete 1 5 to 1 8 bodybuilder 1 8 to 2 2 grams slash kg recommendations based on NASM 2013 Dunford and Doyle 2012 the average adult can only metabolize up to 20 grams protein at a time. Dunford and Doyle, 2012, any more causes uses protein as energy instead of muscle building. So use timing techniques to maximize stores. Also, ingesting too much protein can have serious negative effects on renal function and can cause renal failure. It is claimed that 2, 5 grams slash kg slash day of protein is the maximum anyone should consume based on how the body metabolizes protein and its waste products, Bilesbra and Mann, 2006, Dunford and Doyle, 2012, exercise type you will never see a bodybuilding marathon runner. Primary reason is, to maintain hypertrophy, bodybuilders avoid catabolic states of exercise, e. long duration exercise that causes the body to eat muscle for energy. An often overlooked factor is how a person exercises. To build muscle is it advised that one primarily uses ATP, CP and or anaerobic energy systems. To do this, exercise should be intense strength exercises, but limited to 50-60s of work, making sure adequate rest is achieved between sets to refill the body's creatine supplies. NASM, 2013. Two examples of this are shown in the table repetitions percent 1 RM rest strength 1 to 6 70 to 90 percent up to 3 minutes superset exercise 1 8 to 12 50 to 60 percent none superset exercise 2 12 to 15 40 to 50 percent 90s protein sources eating whole foods to reach your recommended protein consumption should get priority but supplementing with a protein powder can help you get there easier and can have its advantages in specific scenarios conclusion these recommendations are based on scientific evidence to maximize the effects of protein use and muscle building thanks for watching and don't forget to click the link below in order to find out more